I, uh, I obviously wanted to ask you about this uh, six-story wood frame building site that uh, burned down last night. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, uh, you guys introduced your changes to the building code to allow such buildings. So uh, are you concerned about this development? Uh, not at all. I mean, the reality is, is this, is a, this was under construction. So we've had four-story buildings burned down in construction, houses burned down during construction because it, they're usually not at a stage where all the fire protection is in place, particularly sprinklers, their drywall is not completed, that sort of thing. So, and then, you know, really, the reality is I have to find out more facts about how the fire started and what it was. But what doesn't really matter, except for the fact that the, the fires take place sometimes on construction site. It's unfortunate this is one of our six-story construction because people are going to try and point to it as being why the fire started or why the fire burnt, burnt the building down, but I would suspect that is not the case. Um, we have six-story construction buildings completed in BC that are functioning fine with their sprinkler systems and what have you. Uh, one of the reports was this, this was the first one. It isn't. Um, uh, we're involved in this one because we have some money invested in through BC Housing because we were putting some seniors housing in there and funding part of the project. So. We'll have cause for concern over the wood first policies? No, not at all. Uh, not at all for me. I mean, if you look at the history of fires in BC, you will find that uh, four story uh, condo buildings and construction have burned down in the past. Uh, during construction, sometimes it can be arson, sometimes it could be faulty, you know, propane tanks uh, or propane fire things that are, that are keeping the dry drywall and stuff like that. It's, it's, you've got to be vigilant on sites. And so I don't know, you know, there's so many things that, that are factors in a project like this because I built them over the years. You know, you got to watch your sawdust, how you're cleaning up your site at night. Uh, is there somebody on site when you're actually doing the drywall drying with the propane, you know, the propane heaters, that sort of thing. So it could be any factor. And once a fire starts in anything that's only partially constructed, uh, it is very difficult to, to control simply because you have none of the firewalls in place. Yeah, usually you don't have any way to shut off the fire because you don't have the situation where, where you had a firewall built under Part 9 yet because of, you know, you'd have open flow of air. So if you ever had a fireplace, if you have more fresh air getting to a fire, it's way more difficult to, to fight than one of its closed off. Look, over, over, look, over in the, over in the, oh, no, over in the, over in the, over in the, one at a time. One over in the UK, though, this is a major issue. Fires on construction sites for taller wood frame buildings. I mean, this is. Been well, the UK, you, you know, you know for a fact that the UK has gone a lot higher than us. They've actually gone to nine and twelve stories with different forms of engineered wood. So it's totally, a totally different issue in the UK.